Hey everyone, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and we are taking you through another mission of L.A. Noir. This is the Golden Butterfly. We're also going to get the Asphalt Jungle and keep a lid on achievement and trophy. So with this tutorial, it's to help you get 100% completion through these stories, to find all the clues, to ask all the right questions, uh, to get everything right during questioning. So I have... Uh, taking out all the cutscenes so this is strictly a walkthrough uh, with no cutscenes except for the very first one right here which I'm showing you just so you can get a bearings so you'll know exactly which story we're on so this one starts out a lot like the last mission did you've got a naked lady off in the park you want to roll her head around till you see the rope burns on her neck that's gonna give you your first clue uh, then you're gonna fiddle around with her arms uh, to get a few more clues. Oh, again, she's missing a ring. Check out her chest. They've got, uh, she's got step marks on there. That'll give you a clue. And then move her right arm around to see the missing jewelry. After you're done with that, right beside the body is B, where an officer is, uh, he's kind of squatted down. Uh, it'll be easy to find. There's going to be a purse. Inside there you'll find a little wad of change. He makes a comment that this obviously wasn't a robbery because the money's still there. But you really want to pull out this name badge. That's going to get you another clue. You're going to ask an officer to call it in to find out more details on this. They've got an address for you. If you, if you didn't get the steps on the body, uh, the footprints, you can walk over to see and be able to pick up that clue there as well. So. Once you hop in the car and you head on over to the next destination, uh, you're going to meet a girl. She's going to let you come inside, look around. Walk to the back bedroom. You're going to find a pair of boots. You want to pick one of these up and take a look at the bottom of it to get your next clue. After you're done with that, walk over to the dresser where you're going to find two more items. First item you're going to pick up is a ring box. Be sure that you investigate it further to open it up to see that it's empty then you're gonna to go to the other box where she kept her watch and open it up and see that it's empty as well and you'll get a clue for missing watch and rings Try. so then you're gonna have an opportunity to sit down and talk with this little girl uh, here's what you need to do. You can pause the video and ask her these questions. T for truth, D for doubt. Okay, I went out for a while. After you're done oh, talking with her, her way. father will come in. So this is Hugo. And you're going to have an opportunity to ask him some questions. These are the questions you're going to ask him. He's going to be lying a lot. So be sure that you use all the right clues to point out that he's lying to you. After you're done with him, you can walk outside. There will be a neighbor who wants to flag you down. Be sure to look both ways before crossing the street, boys yes, and girls. Walk over, talk to the neighbor. Then all of a sudden, it's pointed out that Hugo's in the back trying to burn something. So a chase then takes place. You want to be sure that uh, you stay close behind him. This is an opportunity for you to get the asphalt jungle achievement by tackling somebody so just as you see up there it's telling me to tap a I get up close enough I'm tapping him uh, and sure enough I'm able to take him down and capture that achievement worth 15 points so after you've captured him you meet back where he was trying to burn something you just walk over to the canister pick out what it is that he's trying to burn he's trying to get rid of that shoe that's got this blood all over it so it's a size 8 I can explain the blood. So that's going to give you another clue. After you're done with that, walk over to the closest phone that's on the street. They are marked on the map, so they're easy to find. And then you're going to head on over to the morgue. Now, as you see, my morgue wasn't listed, but I got a phone call, so just sit tight for a minute. They'll call it in. Then you'll be able to go to the morgue after you get on the phone. So go there first before you go to the school. So after you go into the morgue, you're going to talk to the coroner. He's going to ask you to take a look at the rope over there on the table. Uh, pick up the last rope, move it in front of the magnifi uh, magnification uh, to where it vibrates. Cutscene will uh, take place. 
after you're done talking to them, again go over to the table to point out the mold plasters that they have laid out on the table. And once you're done looking at that, that's also going to give you another clue. You can walk over to the body and click on it, but nothing happens. I'm not sure if you have to do it or what, but I'm better safe than sorry. It only takes a second. So then uh, another cutscene will take place, and you'll see a guy take off on foot. Now, as you see there, I'm trying to cut him off. I'm, I'm running through uh, different bleachers. I'm not going down to where he went down and went through. So, um, you know, just trying to use common sense. And then he turns around and, and a fight scene takes place. Uh, in this particular fight scene, I was able to keep my hat on, which gave me another achievement for keep a lid on it. So keep a lid on it, you get that by keeping your hat on during a fight. So after that happens, you're gonna come across, you'll be you'll be standing in front of a, a trunk of a car, so open that up, you're gonna find three items, and you need to pick up all three items. You need to pick up the rope, you need to pick up the overalls. The overalls are stenciled HM. Miller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. And then you need to pick up the pipe. It's from a Chrysler. Would be important. So once you're done with that, again, you're going to go make a phone call. You'll see the icon on the map right there. I'm not going to show you me walking all the way over to it. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. You know how to make a phone call by now. Or you should. So now we're going to go back to the police office. So we've got two people in custody we're going to question the first one you want to go to is the you. door on the right you want to go talk to Hugo so you're going to be able to ask the former heroes star all kinds of questions about his new life where he's obviously involved in some shady stuff after you're done talking with him, you're going to have the option to leave interrogation or charge him. You want to leave the interrogation. Uh, so, you know, never make a move too early. Be sure that you talk to the other guy first. So head on over to the next interrogation room. And this is what you'll have to do with Eli. And again, after the end of questioning, you're going to be able to charge or leave. We're going to charge Eli because charging him gives us uh, our five stars that we need. I don't know what happens if you charge Hugo. Both of them looked really shady. I really don't know who ended up doing it. Maybe you can figure it out. But uh, either way, this is one way to get the five stars on the Golden Butterfly. If you want more tips, tricks, hints, head on over to BattleTrash.com and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.